These are 20 of the most absurd moments in COD League history. Those gotten three, Cammy with all four! What? First, a moment so bad that caused a huge controversy in the league. Because in 2023, Optic Texas decided to forfeit their match after Minnesota pulled out this trick. So on where Afro is. Afro's the player that could potentially break their setup. Scup right now is so far pushed up. He's trying to maintain this map control, able to stay alive right there. Versus attach. Wow. They can find these two players out of the bases. It's huge. I have to get on the point. The first segment is done. First segment is there. Optic Texas, a picture perfect setup. They've got trophies. They've got the ankles, but they don't have protection from the streak. Bance comes in out of nowhere. And attach is going to be able to find one himself. Two players fall. It's all onto the cable, oh. but he's able to stay alive. He also is going to have a streak to work with. Bias Lonesome inside of the garage, and here comes the cruise missile. What can he find? 30 seconds left. He's gonna attach his name written on it, but he's not able to find him. He's not able to find him, but Optic Texas will walk away with the round number five. I think we should just start this off by going through the footage, right? And yeah, we should set up the story with the scenario, because it was 1-1 Optic versus Minnesota. We're in game three, and you can see it's tied 2-2 in round number five when we ran into a bug. Yeah, and this is going to be Cammy's perspective. So in this situation, uh, he pulls out the SAE streak, which the players don't play with that streak, but in the game right now, you can't take that streak off of your class. So, right. uh, you know, if you earn it, it's sitting on the side there when you try to go pull out your other streak if you actually pull out the sae there is a bug where that ipad glitches and you can't get out of it so he's frozen on the ipad here and in his mind he couldn't make a play to potentially save them that game and they lobbied for a replay and you can see cammy's reaction instantly protesting as he reached into that bug uh there was a bug this is the official competitive ruling that came out we read it yesterday here it is one more time there was a bug at the end of round five. Due to the bug, the Minnesota player couldn't do anything. So the official ruling was to replay the round. Optic opted not to participate. So Minnesota wins the round and therefore the map. Optic also elected not to continue the match at that point. So Minnesota wins. Final result of all this, we have Minnesota 3-1. And this is how the players reacted on social media. He accidentally called in the wrong uh, streak and then from there, uh, that's why they wanted the the replay, but I mean, it's I don't know. just looking back at it, like it's so hard to like. I, don't know, I feel like we would have won a hundred percent just just by analyzing it. Like, Nobody really wants to lose to uh, something out of their control. I feel like you know, win or lose, you wanna you wanna have the choice yourself as players that you've lost that for a reason or you've won that for a reason. And I feel like we just pretty much lost to something that was out of our control. Social media was flooded with reactions after this happened. I'll leave it to you guys to decide if this was a faded decision by the CDL or not. But it surely wasn't as faded as number 19, cause during the same season, Joe Deceives apparently had active camo on. A rocker now attacking, bomb in the hands of Vance as is tradition. Fame there, looking over towards that field side over from what we call top white, and he might be able to catch a Joe Deceives out, who's used Dead Silence to get in the back lines here. Oh dear, this is awkward timing. He's pumped the brakes. How? H Hello? What is- Hello? What happened? What? What the, I've never seen anything like that in my life in Call of Duty. Is that how Joe Deceives is trying? He is active camo? <laughs> we gotta replay this. Yeah, I mean, look, Fame's eyes apparently work. I just don't understand. It's excusable in this moment, but by here. Come on, man. What is going on? How on earth did he not see the guy? Fame definitely lost full after that one, but be rest assured, he got his revenge as we'll see later down this list. But for now, let's go back to the inception of the CDL in 2020, where the Huntsmen were down 0-5 against Minnesota, and well, Envoy decided to take over, turning his one kill game into a 14 kill masterclass performance with the perfect hero landing. Life, right, nothing. 50 seconds to go, still 4v4 and everyone from Minnesota Rocker is in the A site, Alex will find one, Arstis goes down, is this now the potential opening Minnesota Rocker need to close out this game? Outside control, the bomb is going to get planted, now the deal is on the Huntsman to try to get this retake, Gunless pushing a pop with the M4, wins the opening fight. I'm not quite sure how, I'm going to be honest, Chance, but 
Don't miss levels the playing field 3v3. I can't believe it. And boy, you've been a hero throughout the entire game. He's on the bomb. The defuse. Minnesota Rucker. You gotta check it. Full sale happens again from 5 0 down. Chicago Huntsman wins six in a row. You don't see it very often, but welcome back to the Call of Duty League. What a day of games we are having so far. I cannot believe. I cannot believe we just witnessed that. That was a hard carry performance for sure. Just like the time Standy tallied a double digit streak against Toronto and left us all speechless. P3, unbelievable sequence here for Rocker. As Garage gets ready to pop and Standy's just popping through the wall. Get out of here! Look Get at the positioning here. of Minnesota Rocker. You have one inside of, one in, one inside of ring. You're not even across mid map with 50 seconds left. Now the key Lead here. change. The key here, if they die, right, you set up for basketball just the way that Rocker or Ultra did on that first set of rotations. Can they hold? Or do we flip? Five in a row. Now for Standy, the young phenom leaving his mark within this map four. As the lead change came through this hard point, it is building and he is beaming. They can't wait too long. You cannot give them a full 60. Attach is trying to bait, just trying to give them enough time, and they do it. They work it out. There's the artillery. It is in right away. Can he find Ooh. number eight? Doesn't need to. Here comes the pinch. Look at the spawn out here. Here we go. Here we go. The artillery going to be called. He's got to be careful. Do not blow up your teammate. One player going to go down. Major backs up. <laughs> it's artillery got Jimmy. lands him it's got Jimmy. Map. Cammy is dead to break, he's in from Rocker. Cruise missile earned by Stanley. Eight in a row, make it nine. Making a statement for Rookie of the Year is Stanley. What a map. 20 more points needed for Rocker to get it to the map five. Now over to Major, we're into double digits. 10 in a row for Standy. Missiles raining from the sky as Rocker look to close out the map and close it out they will. Map five. Oh, baby, I love a map five! Come on! What a transition from kitchen to garage. But he wasn't at the same level as Shotzi, because, oh boy, he got a filthy three-piece against the Thieves and had the whole crowd roaring. It's shocking all through the middle, and Envoy's the first one in. Can Scumbags are back? Yes, he can, but he falls. 3v2. Well, it's got chaotic in the first few moments, and you can see now they're going to try and regain Shotzi. Looking for the player, he hasn't found anybody though, but he is aware of where they might be. And if he can find something here, bring this back into a very, very close game, and he's in the shoulder and coming in. Takes out Octane as well, turns and burns, and then Shotzi again! Oh! oh! Shotzi with a three-piece! Just annihilates LA Thieves! Oh my goodness! It's absolutely ludicrous from Shotzi. He sees the guy on the right, finds one, finds two, and it's Draza from <laughs> up top. And he picks him out of the air before his feet touch the floor. Shotzi, an enigmatic moment in their search and destroy. When you think about who got the best chef in the CDL awards, you know there's not really a debate for that, because Cami already bagged it after this. They get to the window and Shotzi just lying in wait. He's waiting for the call from his teammates. The moment of pounce, he's trying to bait these guys out. And the bait, indeed, you got the two players on the flank coming through. They've got the spawns. Now the pressure is on Cammy. Oh, looking for the second, looking for the third. He wow. takes him down. Oh, Cammy! Nobody does it better. But at number 14, we got the Bulldog. And you know what he's famous for, right? Pressure trying to build a layer over towards P1 side, but this is going to be a photo finish. Optic in full control, have to hold on. It comes down to this. It comes down to this situation. A New York break or an Optic hollow. Oh. What's it going to be? Skies with one. We continue to battle back and forth. It's an open hard point for the moment as Kisman is happy to walk away with the seconds. Shotzi answers it from there. Optic know exactly where New York are going to engage from. Spawning all the way across the map. They are trying to force the game five. The well, last player is on the kids. He stays alive. He stays alive. Who falls? It's the New York. They can win it. They can win it. They can win it. Jay, they can win it here. You gotta go if you are Optic Texas. You gotta apply the pressure. At least get 10 for a millisecond. Ghosty starts it off with the first. 10 seconds is needed until Subline is called game. Oh, they can't break in. They can't break in. Did they get the tick? I don't believe this. Well, 
Optic is famous for throwing during the big game sometimes, but not in this case, because in a nail-biting game 5 round 11, it all came down to TJ versus Envoy to find out who is the real Optic squad. In Los Angeles, 4 and 5. It's been all defense, and who is on the attack? It's going to be Optic Gaming. I don't think you go back to B here. It was way too telegraphed. The only thing that's worked for them has been that A execute. It looks like for right now, they're going to start in the middle of the map. But one of the things they like to do early in the year was that mid map pressure yep. behind smokes. Try to get into the second story of oh the B house. <gasps> Prestini spots him, but Prestini gets smoked. He just gets evaporated. That's the first blood for Optic. Now, what can you do behind it? The utility coming in over the top, it's not going to connect. The opening in the defense is there for Optic. It's Set up behind the They're bar. They're all here. All of Chicago's here. They're all inside They're here on the bar. cross. There's the first kill from Scum. That's going to be bombed down. The peak comes in from Hollow. What a gunfight when that is. It's madness inside of the B house. Scum just trying to finesse, trying to get the kill. Envoy going to peek from outside. The challenge is going to come in. Scum's got to reload. No one can finish the kill. Orsies picks up two. It's all going to be on TJ now. 1v1, and will Huntsman win it? Envoy gets the kill in the 1v1, and they move on, it's madness! What the heck was that round? Oh my gosh, what a round it was, but I think it was Arsides who was the swing man. It was Arsides. Sheesh, now that was insane, but not as insane as this hardpoint ending between Dallas Empire and the Toronto Ultra during the elimination finals of COD Champs 2021. All of these gunfights, you got Toronto right now, the split spawns may be coming to effect in Empire. Do they make this read? Krim is turning for it, he knows the situation. Two players stacked up in ring, Empire have to be perfect on this hold. Krim's got important gunfights, he's gonna lose it. Shotzi now inside the hill, he's surrounded, come out with your hands up, Illy 5-2. Shotzi gets the next one, and it's Illy versus Cammy inside of the hill trying to buy his teammates time. And it's a hero on hero fight, and Illy wins it! The hard point's still in contest. Bans is gonna get in there. How many more kills can Illy and Krim find? 45 seconds left in the point. Plenty of time for both of these maniacs to contest over, and it is far from over yet. We are witnessing a breakdown, friends. 10 seconds now for Dallas Empire. They've taken the lead. Ultra, you've gotta go. And it's Cammy at the helm. Tim with a spear. He drives forward. Oh my! It's far from over. Here comes Krim. No! An open field. Bans, the foot race is on. Five seconds for the win and counter. Here come the streaks! And oh my god! We go back again! The pendulum keeps swinging! It is a non stop war on the point! And now! We got a game five! Could you have it any other way? A true ninja defuse is a rare sight in pro Call of Duty, but the ninja himself, Temp, managed to secure the most absurd ninja defuse in CDL history. Take it down, simp with the second of this round, and I like that. And they immediately go for the plant. You see Selium's position all the way in the back. He's just playing for this bomb plant now. They have this setup they want. Simp with number three. Temp though is on the defuse. Temp's on it. He just jumps on it, Clint. He, he, he's in the smoke. He's in the smoke. Priest, ah, right Priest, he's right up. Priest, he's below you. Priest, he's on you. That's a defuse. Oh. All right, now we've made it to the top 10, which means only the most absurd moments from here on out. And first, we got the LA Gorillas Miracle Run, who secured a major with an impossible loser's bracket run, ultimately winning it all against Atlanta FaZe in the finals. And of course, the rookie Spart was the main culprit of their success. The Los Angeles Gorillas are a date to a grand final. What? Is he twiddling his thumbs? Because here come FaZe. Enough time has passed now. Here come the LEG players now, making their way forward on the defense. And oh my good God, the moment could be upon us. And this is bloody awkward. This is super awkward. Oh, the eyes are on. The play is there. The damage dealt initially. Here comes the pinch and it's spot with the kills as well. Selling last man up, trying to fight for his life here in the round. This is a big one. Sell with 30 seconds, stays alive. He thought Hook was going to get the trade, so he tries to make the play call, but Hook actually readjusts. Only 20 seconds left on the clock. Selling me, you got to go. He's got to go. He's still trying to make something happen. Spa, the guns are up. The iron is there, and he pays the iron price. It is tournament point. LAG.
Look at this. Who could have honestly caught all of them? This is it. One more round. LAG make the miracle run with a substitute player potentially crowned champions against a team that has reigned terror throughout the CDL, and it's an A hit. Two members of FaZe here. The nades are out. It's an explosive opening. Arstis is already in. He's safe and sound for now. The shattered glass now as the pressure mounting. LAG can taste it. Forward they go. A scene with the first blood once again. Arstis desperately trying now to get involved. Here comes Shook once again with the kills. 2v4. A scene. He's done it. It is now all down to Selium. It's history in the making. One way or another. It was inevitable. The clock has struck 12. We cannot believe it. It is truly a miracle in Minnesota as the Los Angeles Gorillas, their bested phase. Now it's time for Fame to get his revenge from number 19, and that he did. Because during Major 1 of the CDL 2024, Fame produced one of the most absurd three pieces in CDL history. Now out of the Gorillas line, Thieves etching closer. Here we go. I mean, you can feel the pressure. Astral, he's worried for it. Couple players on LAG trying to make moves down the middle of the map. They're going to get caught, though. Fame trying to dance in. There's the trade for the. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh. That's disgusting! Fame out here making plays. I don't believe what we've just seen. Fame has somehow picked up all three. No ace. Dan Gosi now. 1v2. Can he find the pressure? Ring around a Rosie. Can he get the kill? 1v1. It's not enough time to get the bomb down. Diamond Con is there. My God, what a round of search and destroy. And that's retribution for fame. And that all started, by the way, when Joe to see. Reaching the grand finals of COD Champs is a highly sought after achievement for most pro players. But if you get stomped and swept like Toronto Ultra did in 2023, it surely won't feel good. Especially when you decide to trash talk right before the match. Oh, come on, like, are we gonna show up or what? Like, what is going on here? <laughs> right, winners finals, 150K? Let me get it. He's great, dude. What was the key to success? Why, why did they wasn't even put up a fight there? Yeah, you know, um, we knew what they were gonna come out and do. We know how they play. Uh, you know, shut down Hydra. Team's pretty ass, so you know. It is, um, you know, just kind of play us, mix it up. Don't just play one dimensional. And you know, come out and get the. Dump. <laughs> I mean, a few moments later. The second he targeted me with some. Bullshit saying, bro. Like, I'm ending his career, bro. I'm ending his fucking career, bro. I'm making him rethink everything. He's gonna come in the next year, and be like, guys, I'm just a nice guy now. Come no, on, we're not stopping, bro. bro. We're not stopping. Disgusting, bro. I swear sure. to God, bro. You see that trophy? Look at it. Sorry, bro. That's our trophy. Ours, bro. Come on. Xbox. 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 Xbox.
uh, I let the gameplay speak, and it was a flawless sweep, so. I love that from you. I love that from you. But now, I'm gonna give you something else to talk about, because ladies and gentlemen, your MVP of the Call of Duty Champs is Kismet! If you talk the talk, you better walk the walk too. Well, one guy who doesn't even need to talk shit is Faze Sip, who took the league by storm and during the Modern Warfare 2 season, he produced one of the most absurd killing sprees we've ever witnessed. Now going in, this will be an attempted retake from Seattle Surge. Can they get the bodies in the right area? Pile went through, and that's two down already. There goes oh, the first sick. red. They have to try and re- Oh my goodness, Simp on a six streak. B is gone. That's seven. They've hatched. Um, Simp going to try and be a problem here. He's going to find a player as well. That's easy for him in the end. Now going on a run all the way through catwalk. It has slowed down. Seattle Surge are stacking towards bedroom though. B push will be coming on through. The timing is just not great for a BZ, but still wins the gunfight. Simp's found nine Seattle players without barely taking a bullet. I want to see every single gunfight streak. I've seen. He has literally just eviscerated them. There's That's number 10. 10. No. He's on the flank again. He's on the flank again. Finds one. Finds two. Looking for the third. <laughs> Sim, it's a 13 streak. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be tamed. Oh my goodness. It's 14. I don't even know what the, 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 the record is. But we might see it. If I wasn't playing the coffin. This round. If I wasn't playing the Coffin Dance song before, I'm playing it now. Seattle have actually managed to find themselves on the beat, but you know what? Simps here, they're all dead. They're all dead already! Simps 16 in a row. It's a perfect round of control so far. 17 and 1 from the young phenom. This is substantially brilliant. No! Oh, you couldn't have run it. And the same can be said for the CDL Vanguard Rookie of the Year, Pred, who performed miracles throughout the season for Seattle Surge. Here's one that stands out the most. Might end up being the difference as kill after kill comes through. Wow. One, finally you're able to break. It's Pred with a team kill, but two are cleared out. And they've got control now with 30 to go. Yeah, but Sims making the play. He's taking the long route. So it's going to start with him, Fred. They have to deal with this. But the rookie taking over. He's on four in a row. You're waiting for Sim to make the play. And maybe he's found the opening. But he's going to get traded out. And now Seattle Surge. If you're faced, are you going to rotate? Are you going to fight for scrap? What is going to be the play call? Oh, he actually gets that kill before he drops. Yeah, another teammate in. They're going They're for it. They're fighting for this scrap. They want to go for it. It's been contested they for the most here. part. They, they, have the they have the time. They've got to get the kill up front. Mac going Rotation. Rotation. Mac able to get in. Now big one-on-one -on, -one on the other side of it. It's going to be oh! a BZ that's there. But it's Pred that's able to get the kill. Now, Tandy versus Seattle. Mac going nuts. And it's four in a row before a he teammate. drops. A teammate comes in. Another oh, one. Oh, down to Pred. Oh, oh, Pred. Continues to be huge. Just a couple of points in by either side. He gets the kill. He got one close, but it's Seattle that gets the win. What? Brett, are you kidding me? The rookie of the year. But at number five, it's probably the most absurd ace you will ever witness in competitive Call of Duty. Roll the clip. Into the flex player. For Atlanta phase, well, he is flexing right now. Three more rounds. Right, look at this hard counter. It's to be a four on four towards ring. Oh, that's a toss. Inside has to reposition. They helped out there for a second. Vance comes sliding out, and Selium, he is adding on to his numbers. Cammy, though, has gotten three. Oh! Cammy oh! with all four. What did he just do? Show me his POV now. Cammy with the ace. It's a four on four inside oh, a ring. It just ah, snap, ah, snap, ah, snap. Ah. So We've already touched on the LAG miracle, but how can we forget about the only grand finals reverse sweep in CDL history? Yeah, you heard that right. From being down zero to four to winning five maps in a row against a red hot Toronto Ultra. How keep them from getting four points is now another killing spree. Pops up for Freesta up to 20 and 17. They've got mid lockdown. 
Joe, they've got a shot in this one. They were getting smoked early. But the guns are starting to fry. It still seems such an improbable task, but you can see that glimmer of hope now. That opening to maybe get this done. No, it's but gone. It might have I just can't see it anymore. Window. It might have just gone out the window. Oh, yeah, trip break out. into courtyard. The glimmer is gone. Control round that you would see. The attacking team trying to control Kitchen. A Kami just so weak, but Mage is going to step on the bands. There is a quick trade. We're into a three on three. But Priest is in that spot and steady with all the way through a ring, but such fast trades. 2v2. It's coming down and it's attacking. Yeah, yeah. hit. It's all on to Kleenex to keep Ultra in it. 30 seconds on the clock and Kleenex has bomb. And he clutch up in the one versus two. He sees the wrap out. He's going to work the plant. Now it'll be oh, on catch him out. Priesta. They're going to catch him. He gets away for now. 50 he's got no time. Just gets out he's of got it. a plant. Time is dwindling. There's the end. Kleenex wins one. Well, we finally made it to the top three, which means only the most absurd moments from here on out. First, we have to go back and watch the most ridiculous 1v3 clutch ever, the infamous lineup against Optic. Scum puts one down, accuracy, no, so he wins the gunfight to make it interesting. It's gonna be a Taps trying to rally across, he's gonna hit X's. Scump is just holding, Scump is just holding, wins the fight, accuracy, though they line up, they line up for accuracy and he wins it! Are you kidding? Accuracy! That was mental. But at number two, it's the miraculous comeback by Vegas Legion against the LA Thieves. And the casting at the end makes this even more iconic. Legion needs some kills. Surreal finds a way through into bottom glass. Will get it dealt with though. It's just looking far too easy. Honestly, the Vegas Legion, it looks like it's very one by one by one. Good kills coming in from Temp though. Gets that kitchen control. The rest of the team not quite here. Draws at the last remaining member of Thieves on this point with 20 seconds to go. He will get dealt with. Vegas Legion looking to clean up this final 15 seconds. Hoping for it, Octane towards the back of the pit. Plater finds one. He knows where Octane is as well. The gunning is coming through. Tons, the Legion are starting to believe that this is possible. It is plausible. They are holding the Thieves at bay. They're holding them at bay, but it's still a 70 point gap. They've got to close down. But that time is ticking towards Legion. Kleister goes on a huge spree. Back for dead. Vegas Legion, you're very right, they're starting to believe, but have they heated up just a little bit too late? These rotations need to be flawless, the holes need to be brilliant, they need these to collapse to come back into oh. this game. But Kleister, this man's nearly 31 years old, he's absolutely frying on the main stage now. It is going to be a 30 point game by the time we get over towards the next hill. The Legion are not here, the Thieves are. One last chance for the Legion. They need a break. They need a break now. TJ Guns the first. The rest are reinforcing. The time is ticking. They have brought this back to a hair's breadth. And they are moving mad. Every single kill they need. They are finding the Legion. Are fighting back. They are not done. They will not go quietly into the night. As they start to get towards the 200 point limit. The Thieves are being rebuffed. They are being beaten back on every single gunfight. What can they do? These go get nowhere near this. And this is when things start to get a little bit panicky. <laughs> Thieves now in the descendancy, if anything. It's all absolute craziness across the map. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Hold your breath. Vegas Legion, take the lead. As we head into the next hill, but it's a small break from Thieves. Leeds are not here at restaurant. It is a seven point game as we head over towards the next hill. 19 tournament for Clayster, and he's trying to put every bit of veterancy into this comeback that he can. Two real finds a kill. The Thieves are in kitchen. It's reinforcements for Legion. Here come the Thieves. They cannot allow this to slip now. And there is snaking going on. Octane and Envoy have broken through. Ten times one. Finds the second one. They won. And it's Clayster. Into the kill feed and Legion has just made the great 
And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. The most absurd moment in Call of Duty League history. And who could have guessed? It's Abizi's unwinnable 1v4. Awesome. Yeah, couch, couch, Hydra. He's on the bomb. I just popped Eddie. All good. I'm gonna go top bed. Top bed. That's fine. Tiny, tiny, weak at the block. Back and forth, back and forth, one shot. Top bed, then. B4, one couch. One mid crossers. Oh, you're fucking better. You're fucking better. Oh, oh my god! Oh, Tyler! Oh my god! Jesus, oh Tyler, what the fuck? God, you're fucking <laughs> disgusting. Oh my god, nah. bro. What the fuck, bro? I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you watch the 15 most legendary last second plays in Call of Duty history.